Welcome to Making Sense. If you've been here before, I want to welcome you back, my friends. And if this is your first time checking out my channel, welcome aboard. If you do me a huge favor and click that subscribe button down below, like, comment, and or share this video, that would be greatly appreciated. Today's video is regarding a hot release from 2019, and we're going to see if I also feel, think, and or believe that this is the best release from 2019. Stick around. As for presentation with Issey Miyake's Pulse of the Night, the box is very nice. You know, it's a flat black indoor matte black along with this gold accents. The front has the name of the brand, name of the fragrance, along with the size 100 ml and 3.3 ounce. The back has some of the ingredients, uh, the website for Issey Miyake, and both sides have some foil accents with the, on top of the matte black, and the top straight matte black, and the bottom with the UPC code and some other general information. I believe the batch code is in there, just has miscellaneous text and such, but Ultimately, the box is like most other boxes, but it's a nice presentation. Uh, definitely fits with the bottle and matches up well. The bottle is nice and heavy. It feels sturdy in your hand. It feels really well made. The gold accent on top of the matte black is really attractive in my opinion. The front has the name of the brand along with the uh, name of the fragrance. Everywhere else around the bottle is pretty much uh, just design-wise other than the bottom right here. You can see that it has the 100 ml, 3.3 fluid ounces, and the batch code information. The top is completely flat, but it's on super secure. It actually clicks when you pull it off. It's one of these that has a really nice tight nozzle that actually the sprayer fits tight to the bottle. There's no gaps or spaces and you can shake it from the top. So it's absolutely secure to pick up from the top. A Kudna for Granica, the main accords are balsamic, smoky, woody, aromatic, amber. Uh, top note is Kiara incense. Middle notes are tonka bean, patchouli, and amber. And the base notes are leather, woodsy notes, vetiver, sandalwood, and vanilla. This is the presentation for uh, AC Miyake Pulse of the Night. To me, they did a great job. And uh, ultimately, there you go. So this is the first fragrance I've ever owned from the house of Issey Miyake. Pulse of the Night is a very attractive scent. It's a very um, welcoming, generally mass appealing. There's nothing really to dislike about this unless you don't like fragrances, in my opinion, of course. Now, as far as the sprayer goes, it has really nice coverage. That sprays out really good. The smell just from that spray, not even right on top of my clothing and or on my skin, is a really nice fragrance. It's really, you know, it's it's warm, but at the same time, it has a lot of freshness to it. it it's hard to describe. It's not like a where Green Irish Tweed or uh, Aqua de Gio or any of these other fragrances have either a super fresh um, or a green feel to them in a sense. This one here, let me spray on my arm get that thing dried up a little bit to get a little bit of air out of it because there's a lot sprayed right now this definitely the atomizer sprays a lot of juice um it, it smells great down here you know where i am standing the whole room and the whole area smells amazing right now to me and it's kind of hard to say exactly what it smells like other than really nice uh, when i look at this bottle and when i think about the fragrance itself before i ever spray it I always picture it's going to be a really warm, maybe even a gourmandish type scent. And it really isn't really that much of a gourmand at all. Uh, in my opinion, it's more of a freshie that has some sort of a booziness to it or, or something like that. And again, I'm not a perfumer. I, I say that all the time. Uh, it's my take on what I smell when the, the scent profile is going through my nose into my brain and telling me what I smell. So this one here. Uh, it definitely has like some some woodsy notes to it. It's got like a green vibe, but mixed into that of like a speakeasy, if that makes sense to you. Um, it, it's just really nice. It's a really classy scent. Seems like it'll be a great scent for the fall, uh, also and for the winter time. Personally, I've worn this about two or three times out, and I've really enjoyed wearing it. Um, I've gotten compliments on it probably two times when I wore it out of the three which that's awesome, you know? It's a really nice thing to get a compliment. Some of the reasons we wear fragrances might be to get compliments, but in this case, I wanna say I got the compliments. One was almost two and a half or three hours into wearing the fragrance. Somebody stood next to me and they said, wow, you smell really good. And you know, first off, that felt good. You know, it really does feel good when you, you know, you choose to wear a fragrance and it actually gets recognized by somebody outside. 
and you didn't say, hey, do me a favor, smell this for me, or it wasn't a co-worker you were always standing beside that always knows that you're into fragrances. This was just a random person that I was standing, I think, in a bowling alley. And they said, wow, what is that? You smell just really good. And that was, that was awesome. You know, it was a really good feeling. Now, as far as longevity, uh, silly edge, uh, and, and, and all that kind of stuff, I think I got probably anywhere from two to four hours, maybe even five hours, where there was some sort of a throw. Real strong for the first couple hours, where people could smell me anywhere around me. I could feel it wafting onto me in a bit when I would just be standing there. Um, from the two to four hour mark, I could still smell it. It wasn't like I had to you know, get super close to smell it, um, which is good, because I like to smell the fragrance on myself. I just like to know that it's there still. And then from four to six, maybe a little bit further, it was getting closer to a close scent, you know, not a skin scent. Someone didn't ever go, what is that? I can't, can't tell what it is. So I got pretty good performance out of the fragrance. And overall, I was really pleased with what I, what I got from it since the bottle itself only costs like 65 bucks or $55. Uh, if you can find it whenever it's available on fragrancenet.com, got some great deals there. I think I bought the original bottle off of eBay that I had because nobody had it and I spent like 65 or $70 for it. But at that price point, I'd still probably buy it again because it is a really great fragrance. But if you can get it off fragrancenet.com, definitely go that route. And if you can hold off or wait a little while, wait till it's available because to me, it's definitely worth the purchase. Isi Miyake, Pulse of the Night. So to answer the question I posted on my original screenshot of this video, is Isi Miyake's Pulse of the Night the best release of 2019? In my opinion, based on my wearings and my findings, no, it is not. Is it a great release? It absolutely is. Is it a bottle worth having in your collection? I absolutely think it is, and it's even backup bottle worthy in my opinion. So with that being said, EC Miyake Pulse of the Night, great, great, great release from 2019, but in my humble opinion, not the best release of 2019. That will spark up the uh, conversation where I'm going to have to add another video regarding the best release, in my opinion, from my collection of 2019. I'll either do a top 5 or a top 10 video before we get to 2020 so that we can see what, what my opinion is and I can't wait to hear some of all of yours. I want to thank you all for stopping by Making Sense. If you could do me a huge favor and click the subscribe button down below, like, comment, and or share this video, it will be greatly appreciated. I truly, truly, truly do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Now, I did have a comment in one of the comments uh, from yesterday's video asking to do a comparison to the clone houses versus the original fragrances, and I will absolutely be doing that. I'll probably do it with a few different fragrances, maybe even space out a few different videos, so we can share the content and you know really get a good chance to see what it's like, you know, for me anyways, to be wearing these clone house fragrances versus the OG. I do appreciate you putting that comment down there. We'll definitely get to that for you. Now, anyone else that has comments down below, if you have any comments about E.C. Miyake's Pulse of the Night, you know, whether you've tried it and you like it, hate it, love it, whatever the thing might be, if you're wanting to try it, if it's something you're looking forward to getting your nose on, put those comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking as well because that's, you know, what this is all about. It's all about the community that we have uh, on FragCom and or on YouTube and uh, in general with making sense. So remember, if you're making the world a better place, one spray at a time, then to me, you're just making sense. Until next time.